Shock. Challengers and champions face off on Robot Wars. It's chaos as Robot Wars returns to Tech TV. Two robots through, two robots scrap. We've got four more waiting to prove their metal or get melted down. So while they wait, trembling in fear and anticipation, who wants a mayhem? Who wants the best, most brutal mayhem in the whole wild world ever? Well, this, folks, is your lucky day. Avenger, Tornado and King Bee, three of the most competitive robots around, do battle. One of them goes through to our Annihilator later on in the series. Only one, though. Well, the crowd wants mayhem, and that is exactly what they're going to get. Steel Avenger, I love your outfit. Thank you very much. Did you make that yourself? No, my husband did. OK. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, you haven't fought either of your opponents, have you? No, we haven't. It's King B, well, just King B, isn't it? Not King B3. King B. And yeah. Tornado. Tornado. Who are you most scared of? Mm, they're pretty evenly matched, I reckon. Very different to us. Uh, it's going to be a tough fight, but there's only one robot comes out of this arena under its own power. I and I want to be that robot. Don't they all? <laughs> Tornado. Do we think you're the favourites for this? Well, I do. Yeah? Yeah, we, we're going to win this. Who are you going to be having a pop at first? Oh, whichever gets in our way first. Yeah? We'll take anyone on. OK, he sounds confident. Hello, Simon. Hello there. What do you reckon? Um, well, I, mm, I've lost count the amount of times someone said to me, you know, you copied Tornado, but we didn't. We were here first. They're the young upstarts, hang so on, we're going to punch them down. Hang on. Who did 36 Ooh. volts first, eh? I think you'll find it was us. Yeah, but you're just a mild breeze, you are Tornado. <laughs> yeah, but you're not a king, you're a jester. OK, team, sort it out in the war zone. Only one of these teams will win, and they will go through to the Annihilator later on in the series. From Hammond, King B Power Works. They've tried to emulate the best with the weaponry, a pussycat-type front-cutting disc, lifting spikes at the rear, but it's the lightest in this, and the king may be overthrown. Hi, I'm Simon. This is Grant. We're the King Buxton team. The name PowerWorks comes from the fact that we're using the highest voltage that the rules will allow in our power system for the drive. We're also running the same system for the saw at the back. We actually run 8,000 RPM. We've had some reliability problems in the past, but when we're on a run, I think we're going to be doing quite well. From Holton St Mary, Steel Avenger. A trusty Steve ready to peel away all opponents and Purdy with delight as a gleaming Avenger. Steel and polycarbonate armour, the axe front blade spikes and rear flipper, well engineered. John Willoughby, this is Jackie, and this is Tony. This is our robot, the Steel Avenger, and we are Team Steel Avenger. We've come along here to do some serious damage to other robots. We kick some serious robot. From Huntington, Tornado. Awarded the best newcomer prize on reaching the semi-finals of Robot Wars 4. Some say it's just a welded steel box on wheels, but the vertically mounted spinning disc and the ability to run both ways up means that Tornado can wind up anyone. My name's Andrew Marchant, this is Brian Moss, this is David Gamble. We are Team Tornado. Remember how we pushed all the other robots around last year? Well, we're going to do the same this year, because we have this. Everybody, beware. Roboteers, stand by. There's King B, won the tag team contest with 101 in Series 4. Tornado and the teams together in the control pod. Simon Harrison with King B and there's Andrew Marchant of Tornado in the middle there, the taller. And the Steel Avenger with John Willoughby, wife Jackie and her cousin Tony Bates, the team. Our house robots, Matilda, with the tusks, the 27 kilo flywheel, a lack of self-control, totally. And Shunt, can't self-right, we don't mind, because it'll get that axe in first. Robots. Only one winner to go through to our Annihilator. Steel Avenger cuts between the two of them. Chased by Tornado, which just grinds opponents down, pushes them across the arena floor. King B not really in the action so far, a smash and a crash as the Steel Avenger comes head to head with Tornado. Tornado getting in underneath the Steel Avenger, trying to get that 15 kilo spinning disc slicing through the 
armour plating of the Steel Avenger. The steel and polycarbonate armour with that telltale feather duster on the back, the good luck symbol. There's Tornado on the top of the picture. That was a great run to attack the Steel Avenger by Tornado. King B is out of the fray at the moment, not really getting involved. Trying to, basically trying to catch the others. It's almost like a game of tag. Come on, come on, try and catch us if you can. And eventually King B got into the fray there. Caught up. So is that a lack of control that he can't get into the fight here? Simon Harrison at the controls of King B. Now does with the front lifting spikes. There is Simon. But didn't seem to be able to get those lifting spikes in underneath Tornado. What's happened to Tornado? Tornado has stopped in the middle of the arena. King B now can get in on the attack. Has Tornado here been immobilized? Are the wheels turning? Yes, they are on one side, but not the left-hand wheels. They have stopped on Tornado. They're in trouble. Meanwhile, the Steel Avenger attacking now. King B and there's Tornado. They're out of it, I'm sure. The Red Bull have to come in here. They're, I think, completely immobilized now. Four-wheel drive can run both ways up, but the motors have to run, the 750-watt motors, and they're not. So we're left with two, I would think, the Steel Avenger and King B. Certainly the Redbot has come in now to count Tornado out. They're going, and this is a great contest now. And King B timed it just right and paced it just right. Tornado, they're out. Counted out there by the Redbot. And away they go on the flipper floor. More head-to-head -head robot rumbles coming up on Tech TV. It's all out carnage as robots collide on Robot Wars. Steel Avenger has hit the hit release button there. You can see the tire lit up, which means the pit of oblivion. It's descending. Tornado will go down there anyway. But how about that? Oh! And King B has lost a wheel! One wheel completely snapped off or broken off. Steel Avenger, let's see if it was the Steel Avenger that did the damage here. There it was. The side on assault by the Steel Avenger coming in on King B. And there goes the wheel. That hit that with a full power of 100 kilos at 15 miles an hour. And there are three wheels on that particular wagon now. King B can't get the sword to it. There go Tornado down the pit. Matilda gave them a helpful little shove and a push from behind. You, you really don't want Matilda anywhere behind you. Let me tell you, I've been in the pits with her. It isn't too pleasant. The clock ticking down. And certainly for me, the Steel Avenger has won this one. Oh, but look at that right at the end. Well, surely Matilda should not have been able to do that anyway. I don't think the Steel Avenger goes into the CPZ. Here. I don't think Matilda could go on the attack. Let's have a look. Red warning line, but not into the CPZ. Matilda, you should not have thrown the Avenger. That's out of order. Judges, I call on you to act! Oh, Matilda! Not a good robot, bang out of order. The judges are going to judge on that competition up until the moment Matilda intervened. But look at its style, control, damage and aggression. While they're doing that, hey, let's look at the highlights. Well, it was a good start by Tornado on the attack on the Steel Avenger, rocking early on. Then the Avenger comes back with the axe. Tornado, of course, soon to be immobilized, despite that crushing blow on the side of Steel Avenger, which therefore did take damage in this mayhem. Causing damage to King B, of course, and off came the wheel. That could be the decisive moment of the entire fight. Not there. That was not right. Shouldn't have happened. Well, um, there's a bit of tension up here. The judges have made their decision. You know what they're looking at? Style, control, damage. And aggression. Now this is, I've been informed, a really close call. But they've gone for Steel Avenger! Yeah. I tell you what, this this was billed as the best mayhem battle we could possibly have, and it certainly didn't disappoint. I think you lost it just on damage. I mean, but what a robot. Three wheels goes as strong as ever. <laughs> I know, don't want to stop. But the most, Im most important thing is Tornado, who was out. That's all I care about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, gallon losers, let's hear it for King B. Hey! What did you think when Matilda hit you then? Felt like another flying lesson. Oh, you need a parachute when she hits you with that yeah. flywheel. I didn't realise we were so close, otherwise I'd have kept away. Yeah. Um, you got through them. That axe is powerful. It comes, slams down hard. Sometimes it gets stuck in the arena, in the arena floor. Yeah. And, and you can see it's going to pull it back yeah. out again. You're in the annihilator. Yeah. Six brilliant. robots going head to head. Last man standing wins. Yeah.
How do you feel about that? Well, I'll go in there and do the same as we've done now, I hope. Yeah. Just go for everything. Um, nothing to move it. That's why it's called mayhem. Mm. You know that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. Steel Avenger! Robot Wars, in all its destructive glory, will be right back.